Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of August 23rd through the 31st. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and wow, I love what I'm seeing. Aquarius, I feel like a lot of you are feeling and seeing progress in an area of your life that you've been just kind of like waiting for for the longest time. Uh, when it comes to money, I feel like pressure is going to be lifted. Um, when it comes to a move or a decision that you've made in the recent past, things are getting really, really clear for you. So you're able to see how these decisions are making sense, how things are moving along. It feels like a slow um, or smooth transition, right? You're not really rushing into things, which is maybe, you know, why it feels slow, but maybe slow is good, right? A lot of you are not... Um, worrying about the pace of something and when you're don't when you don't have to worry about the pace of something that means it's going according to plan so basically aquarius things are just they're working out for you so we have the seven of pentacles the star which i'm covering up because you know um and then three of wands so i feel like the, again there's something about expansion you kind of moving into a new horizon at this time um definitely new chapter but i feel like this new chapter started a few weeks ago maybe a month ago this is just kind of like you turning the page on something extremely specific that just kind of completes it. it feels like a completion it's like you laid down the groundwork you built the foundation you put in all the extra stuff added some greenery painted the walls now you're just adding that final last touch that makes it all the more kind of worth it and you get to just kind of revel in it and say whoa i did this right it feels like the completion of something really important to you which is why that ten of pentacles is showing through and the fact that you are coming out as well is just kind of amazing because it's confirming that this is something that is not only important to you but very personal and it feels like you built this like your initiative is what made this possible it wasn't something that was just handed to you you did everything from scratch you know to make this happen but that seven of pentacles tells me that there could have been some worries in the recent past about the finances regarding this the logistics the planning the details and now it seems like everything is so clear that you're not worrying about whether or not one thing works with the other you just kind of see it happen and so that's giving you that sense of relief um you know a lot of peace of mind um, revolving this which is great because then that means you can move on to the next thing right so it's like you're doing it step by step but if, as long as every step is complete you can know that at the end you don't have to go back and retrace um, and kind of fix something along the way because there's nothing worse than thinking you're done with something and then realizing there's a crack somewhere and you got to fix that right so that three of wands is you being able to fully walk into this expansion not having to worry about what is wrong or what needs to be fixed so really exciting stuff um, let's clarify the star Ooh. and we have the world at the bottom of the deck which is just more confirmation that this is a great time for you again it feels like something so personal um because of how much work you put into this again it feels like you've you've been you made a lot of sacrifices in the recent past, I feel, in order to get to this moment. And maybe at some point you were like, I don't know if that was worth it. I don't know if I should have done that. But it feels like now you're kind of letting go of all of the what ifs and just happy that you took the chance, right? You have no regrets and that is so important. So we have Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So now we have Wheel of Fortune, the World, and the Star um, showing up here for you. So that's major. It's just confirmation after confirmation that this exactly... This is exactly where you need to be and you've done things exactly as you should have so you should have um you should take us some time to kind of just give yourself that credit right give yourself that much needed pat on the back because a lot of you don't realize how hard it is what you've done i feel like this is something that took a lot out of you but you're seeing the benefits right you're seeing the potential seeing how it's changing your life and the opportunities that it's bringing you and you're just kind of like i wish i would have done this sooner but i'm just glad that i did it anyways right perspective is so important here and i feel like your perspective is crystal clear so with the queen of wands and seven of wands maybe at some point you had to defend this to somebody or you had to stand up for it in a way that you didn't think you had to but at the end of the day it just further adds to the fact that this is so important and nothing could potentially get in your way. So that Queen of Wands is speaking to you not only having the passion and desire to nurture this into existence, but it's also you having everything that you need to keep growing it, keep, you know, giving it life. So 
um, I don't see very much getting in your way. And, you know, I've kind of been picking up on this energy of the retrograde and I just feel like it's not going to do much, right? If you have your intentions clear and your path um, is solid, right? There's, there's very little that can actually get in the way of things. We can give things control and that's where, you know, things start to get a little bit wonky. But overall, Aquarius, I feel like you are in in a really good path right now. I mean, I think that you've laid down all of the bricks ahead of you, so you're the only one that can take them off. All right, let's clarify the Three of Wands. All right, Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like with any change that we make in our lives, any expansion, there's always going to be a sense of conflict, um, mostly internal, right? Because we, we are human and we're always going to overthink or overanalyze or um, even doubt ourselves and our decisions. And I feel like that's the challenge is to not do that um, at any moment because all it does is take away from the positives. All it does is take away from your strengths and the blessings and abundance that you're receiving from the decisions that you made that you could be questioning um, at this time. But it, there could also be some tension or conflict with another person, but I feel like there's no need to even address that or give it attention because it's not going to last very long. A lot of these things that are showing up as conflicts or obstacles are going to be incredibly transitory and um, temporary, okay? And we have the King of Wands, the Lovers, and the Four of Cups. So, yeah, this expansion is um, radiating with love and passion. I feel like Four of Cups could be you overthinking the small details, which again, is totally normal. Um, and maybe that's not such a bad thing, right? If anything, we always think sometimes that, you know, overthinking or being overly, you know, perfectionist about things is a bad thing. I feel like maybe this is working to your advantage. What if this is exactly what's been allowing you to kind of make these changes and go, you know, on this journey and, and see all these things work out for you, right? If anything, I salute you. Keep looking at the small details. If anything, your attention to the details is what's allowing you to see those little cracks and able to fill them before going on to the next step. So um, I feel like this is encouraging you to keep doing what you're doing. And if someone says, oh, you're overthinking it or you're complicating it, you, you, you need to trust yourself, right? Trust your intuition at this time because you are the one that's really making this happen. And so if this is your vision, don't don't walk away from it right lovers king of wands again could be connecting to your higher self here but there's also an element of connecting to another person at this time king of wands has now met um his queen of wands right there's a perfect match and so i feel like there could even be a lot of synergy or um, harmony between you and someone else while you're kind of going on this journey together so maybe this is not a individual act but a mutual um, understanding right it feels like it's just really good it's adding to the smoothness of it all so really love to see that let's clarify the seven of pentacles all right the fool so definitely taking a leap of faith here trusting the process and going after something with open arms willingly um, and of course there's always going to be some sort of doubt or worries anytime that we do that but i feel like you're kind of walking away from that or overcoming the fear of taking that leap right all of those negative feelings surrounding something so big and um, truly rewarding you're kind of walking away from it but still acknowledging that that was part of the journey so we have nine of swords the sun and six of swords so moving forward acknowledging the hard parts but also understanding that's what makes everything in this situation so worth it right beauty in the struggle beauty in the madness if anything the sun and that nine of swords is really just saying this is real this is um this is personal right this is something that you have been thinking about and going through for the longest time but god it's just so worth it right i feel like this is what we need to focus on is how happy the end product has made you and the fact that you are definitely at the point of completion now all you have to do is just enjoy and really embrace everything that is happening before you and ahead of you and to just let go of the worry let go of the fear and also don't pay attention to the resistance or people that are criticizing the very thing that has been working for you if you really think about it they're they don't know what they're talking about. So really love this for you, Aquarius. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.